January 23, 2023. Monday of the third week. First reading. Hebrew chapter 9, verses 15, 24 to 28. Christ is mediator of a new covenant. Since a death has taken place for deliverance from transgressions under the first covenant, those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance. For Christ did not enter into a sanctuary made by hands, a copy of the true one, but heaven itself, that he might now appear before God on our behalf. Not that he might offer himself repeatedly, as the high priest enters each year into the sanctuary with blood that is not his own. If that were so, he would have had to suffer repeatedly from the foundation of the world. But now once for all he has appeared at the end of the ages to take away sin by his sacrifice just as it is appointed that human beings die once. And after this the judgment, so also Christ, offered once to take away the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to take away sin but to bring salvation to those who eagerly await him. Responsorial Psalm Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Gospel Mark chapter 3, verses 22 to 30 The scribes who had come from Jerusalem said of Jesus, He is possessed by Beelzebul, and, by the prince of demons he drives out demons. Summoning them, he began to speak to them in parables, how can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand, that is the end of him. But no one can enter a strong man's house to plunder his property unless he first ties up the strong man, then he can plunder his house. Amen. I say to you, all sins and all blasphemies that people utter will be forgiven them. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an everlasting sin. For they had said, He has an unclean spirit. Reflection Divided against itself One of the surest signs that something is not from God is when there are divisions factions, quarrels. While at times one may have to stand for one's principles and thus resist evil or oppression, our ultimate goal is to pursue and preserve love, peace, and harmony. When Jesus is accused of driving out demons by the prince of demons, he responds and shows that such a Situation cannot have a destiny or fate other than destruction and devastation of the warring forces. The truth is, Jesus brings peace, promotes love and forgiveness, healing, and not their opposites. Now, for us, how important it is to reflect on the words of Jesus. If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. We have so many examples from our experiences to confirm this, from our personal rifts, to group bickering, 
to family feuds, nations at war, and even world wars. Divisions in the family are particularly painful and destructive which, when not addressed in time, can grow into even more intense hatred and even violence. In place of these, we heed the call for unity and peace and understanding, even if these are difficult to pursue. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything.